How's it going everyone? Dave again back here for the quick conclusion on this first module. Um, we covered a lot of material, no pun intended, in this, uh, this course, but we really only skimmed the surface. There's a ton of information that we can get into here tying flies and I wanted to give you a little primer, give you a, show you a little bit of the surface of the stuff we can get into. I mean, I talked a little bit about entomology. There's a whole side, you know, thing you could spend your entire life studying entomology and things like that. But just wanted to give you a, you know, understanding the life history of bugs and aquatic invertebrates. Um, so you know about tying these flies. So when you get into tying the flies, you have a little feel for what you're doing here, but I don't want you to get overwhelmed. That's why this course breaks down the step-by-step uh, process to tying your first flies and, and kind of getting onto that next um, intermediate stage. But before you get into module two, I want to make sure that you cover and complete the action items below. So if you go down below, there's some action items there. And the first one being getting your fly tying tools and materials. So before you move on, I want to make sure you have those. If you have those, great. Um, if you're part of the mentoring package, you should be getting um, tools and materials delivered if you opt in, opted into the tools uh, portion. Um, but you got to get the required uh, tools, and there's not much there. As you saw, we talked about vices and things like that. One other note that's kind of, um, you know, we didn't touch on is lighting. One thing that's handy to have is a nice light. And you can see this is bright. You can look this way. Or look at you. Ah, how bright is that? But that's a day glow light. So. That's one little tip. If you're uh, looking for lighting, get a day glow, kind of a natural light bulb. It actually will help you see your materials better than you would with a typical light. But that's something you definitely want to get to save your eyes. As you get older, um, you will notice it more. And probably if you get to my age, you're going to be wearing glasses potentially. So, uh, so make sure, yeah, use a good light. So that's just another tip. But um, yeah, so that's part of setting up your area. You want to get your table set up, as we mentioned. So that's kind of action item number two. Get your table set up, get your tubs, get your materials, just know so everything's right out here. It's like, I'm gonna tie, you know, I'm gonna tie this fly today, this woolly bugger. I wanna have the tail, all the stuff just sitting out here so I can just grab it, put in my vise, which is right here. Put in the vise, get up there and, and tie some flies. Um, so the next thing, so that's action item two. I wanna make sure you get those done. Action item number three is you know, part of just to reinforce is the, um, the material. So whatever fly you're tying, again, it's going to be delivered if you're part of the mentoring package, but I want to make sure you get those. You can look below or let's see above, there's some links to materials, um, but you can also connect with me. If you need materials anytime, just reach out, send me an email. Um, you have it there in the, in the email that I sent, but Dave at wetflyswing.com. That'll get you in touch with me and I can get you extra materials at a, you know, a special discounted price. I haven't set up the entire shop, um, you know, online shop where you can buy this stuff. For now, it's just going to be you know, reach out to me, and I'll make sure to connect you with the materials. But I want to I want to make sure that you, um, for action item number four, is to make a list of the types of fishing you will be doing most often. So, are you doing bass and panfish? You know, if you are, um, you know, this woolly bugger is definitely a good fly. But I want to know that to see if maybe there's some other patterns we can talk about. A lot of the patterns we're going to cover here are going to be some of the trout type of um, patterns. And we'll talk a little bit about some other species, but most of them are, are trout ties because those are the majority of people are using, using and then they're uh, the most common. Um, but I'll be interested to, just to connect with you and see if you haven't filled out the surveys and some of the links. Make sure to do that. But before we get on, just make sure to hit up and finish these action items. And then we can go on to the next course and module which will be module two, and we're actually gonna be tying flies. So this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna we're gonna do some real, get on the vise, and just be ready to dig in. So I'm excited to do this with you. Make sure if you haven't, to go to the Facebook group, um, and make sure to, to log in there. That will be, I believe, at uh, wetflyswing.com slash um, fly tying mentor group fly tying mentor group. So that should get you to our Facebook group. And uh, yeah, so that, that'll get you going. Thanks for stopping by for this one. And I'm glad you were able to watch everything and get your stuff. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next module very soon.